Let's explore the bootstrap documentation for the grid system. These first three lines are really important. The first one says that all rows must be placed within a container, or a fluid container. This allows them to have the right alignment and padding on the page. We'll also be using rows to create horizontal groups of columns, which means columns that are lined up one next to each other. And this last point says that your content has to be inside of a column, and a column has to be inside of a row. Back to our mock-up, we've gone ahead and put some boxes around the different elements on the page. We have a container encompassing the entire page. We've got a row right here in the middle that includes Appify and Sunflower. And then Appify itself is just a single column inside this row. We can see other examples. For instance, at the top, we have a header. That's going to be a row. And inside of our row, we have two columns, one on the left and one on the right. 